Do you want to know which vendor can cause the greatest impact to your profits? If so, then let's check out this video. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Chris Seventy with Seventy Mortgage Note Investments, where we provide you sage advice to empower you to take control of your future financial independence through mortgage note investing. So, which vendor has a lot of control sometimes over your profit that you really are not in control of? That's your realtor or the company you use to evaluate that property and the value of that property. So. Let's step back for a second. Let's get an understanding of what the realtor's role is for new investors so you can understand this and how it can impact um, your financial analysis and profit significantly. So when you're doing due diligence on an asset, you're gonna send somebody out there, typically a realtor or a BPO company, to take a look at the property and evaluate it. Now this is very important to understand who it is you're hiring. And the reason I say that is many of these companies, literally someone is going out there going click, 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 click like that with their phone. They're not looking at the property. They're not evaluating it. It's somebody who's getting paid probably 10 bucks with their cell phone to go take photos, bring it back to a realtor who in the office basically says, oh, here's the address. Click, click, click. Here are some comps based on the square footage. They don't look at whether it was an REO property or brand new home, in many instances. I've had BPO reports that come back where the house wasn't even there. Um, and they said it was a beautiful three bedroom, two bath house. So I say that's important is if they tell you it's a hundred thousand dollar house and it's only worth 50 at the end of the day, that can cause significant harm to your, you know, what you're paying for that asset because you base it off of the lower on non-performing assets, the lower of the balance or the property value. So I say that, but how do I mitigate that risk? You know, this is important to understand. So a few things to do when you're researching these companies is understand what is your process? Who's taking those photos? How do they run their comps? What facts figures do they use to run their comps? Uh, some companies are really good, some aren't. And also what is their verification process for somebody or their quality assurance, quality control process to make sure, hey, I'm looking at this, does it look right? Um, because a lot of times they say they have this process and they just ship it along. So that's important to understand. So question again is, what is your process? And what is your quality control, quality assurance? Um, so that's one. Second is, how many photos are you getting? You know, sometimes you'll get a photo of a zoomed in section this big of a house where you can't even see the house and others you'll get one from about three blocks down and they'll be like, oh, here's a street sign. Here's the mailbox. And then which are great po photos, but then the picture of the house, you get their feet, you get the sidewalk, you get whatever it is. Um, so it's very important to understand that process um, from that perspective. So when you're vetting these companies, you want to make sure, ask them to send you some sample reports as well. And, you know, to see what it is they look like, what it is they show. And most importantly, ask some people out in the space. You know, ask people in my Facebook group or my membership group. Hey, can you send me a sample of a BPO that you've gotten? Or what, you know, how, who do you recommend? That is probably the best place to start in many instances um, because no two companies are alike. And the challenge is, they're just a large company that it flows down where they're using vendors in specific locations. And some of them may use the same vendor or the same realtor. So it's challenging because someone might be really good in one state and really bad in another area. So again, this is very difficult to manage, but just ask a lot of questions uh, about the process, the photos, and, and you know, do you get to keep those photos? Or are they just a PDF or are they a JPEG? Um, because sometimes you may want to use them for marketing purposes. Uh, so what do I do uh, to try and mitigate this risk? Um, I actually send out um, two preservation companies as well to go out and take photos. So I have them go out and take photos of the property because they also provide a little more detail about the condition of the property. You know, whether they look like, think it needs a new roof, whether it's, you know, occupied, not occupied, um, you know, what's, you know, is the grass cut? 
so they can get a little better sense, I think, than somebody going out there because they're typically inspectors. So that's something I do. It costs a little more money, but in the long run, it can actually save you a lot because it's just an added insurance policy. So what do you do? You know, who do you use? Leave your comments below. Make sure to click on the subscribe button so you can check out our other videos and so forth. But I really want to hear your feedback on this topic because this is one I struggle with all the time. And I'm looking for other individuals, other investors' feedback on how can we better this system or all put our brains together to figure out what's the best solution for this. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out at the Good Deeds Note Investing Podcast. Also check out my membership site, 70investments.com slash backslash join. Uh, where we provide you access to our entire document portfolio library. Um, all the documents we use, the templates, also get access to my uh, bidding calculator. We'll have workshops. We have attorney webinars and seminars. So really trying to open it up to provide you value to further educate you and know uh, how to further advance your career in note investing. So thanks for watching. And as always, go out and do some good deeds.